favorite piece of technology when I was 14? I guess I'd have to say the radio. My name is Aileen MacDonald and I am 90 years old. A few words to describe myself are hardworking, a deep reader, and love for our animals. As a child, we always had dogs and cats. And because I was raised on a farm, we had cows and horses and pigs. The boy I went to school with, Raymond, he was my age. And in the summertime, we used to play together. And I remember one day, I think he was probably eight or nine, and he said to me, I think we should get married when we grow up. And and I said, yes, And but what house are we going to live in? Because I like my house better. And he said, well, maybe we'll get our own house. And I said, yeah, but we have to have a lot of pasture because I want a lot of horses. I've always loved riding and seeing and being around horses. And when I retired, I bought three donkeys. There was Clancy and Simon and Kilty. And I had them for 22 years but they were a great source of entertainment for us. My husband and I used to harness them up and saddle them, and two of them were even in a Jackie Chan movie. And of course, we have Rex. What is the best advice I've ever received? <laughs> Probably from my grandmother. Be a lady. <laughs> she was a wonderful old gal. You know, we lived three generations in a big farm home. And of course, she had a great influence on my brothers and my lives. But she, she was the one who taught us good manners. Uh, always be a lady. When my brother and I came home from school, my mother always had something baked when we got home, and oftentimes it'd be donuts, or cookies. So we'd grab a bite to eat, and then we'd go out and we'd skate until they called us in for supper. I regret giving my skates away when I was 80 years old. I love to skate, and I have osteoporosis. And my doctor, every time she'd see me, she'd say, are you still skating? So finally, to keep her quiet, I said, when I hit 80, I'll stop skating. I didn't know it was going to happen so fast. What has changed for the better is our health system. It's not perfect, but it's far better than back when I first graduated from nursing. I chose the career I did because there was little choice when I came out of high school at age 18, I spent many years in nursing, but my last eight years was in palliative care in Montreal. And it made such an impression on me. And it's something I would never have wanted to miss. 